Hey, I'm here on Fluffy's behalf. He sent me. He'll be here in a minute. He's stuck in traffic. Get your finger out of there. Put me down. Take two. The very first time I uh, had an interest in stand-up, I was 10 years old. I got a VHS of a movie called Eddie Murphy Raw. And at the time, I was 10 years old, and I probably shouldn't have been listening to that. But after I saw that, I was like, that's what I want to do. I don't have writers. Uh, I've never put anything on paper. Nothing, I, none of my specials are in writing. Everything comes from something that happened to me and I just kind of embellish it a little bit to make it funnier. But a lot of the things you can't plan, like for example, two days ago I was in Boston. I was talking to my production manager, Ryan, and I said, man, I'm freaking, I'm tired. And he goes, you want me to set up a massage for you? I go, yeah, man, set up a massage. So I jump in the shower, I get all, you know, rinsed up, and next thing I know there's a knock at the door. Hold on a second. And uh, I dry off, you know, the, the main area that, <laughs> you know, they're gonna wind up seeing me naked anyway. So I open up the door and uh, there's two Asian women standing there. And I'm like, well, I guess they do it differently in Boston. And I asked them, I says, where's your table? And they said, no table. Oh, okay, well, come on in. I lay my towel on the bed and I start crawling on the bed and the girl goes, what are you doing? I said, well, you know, some, for my massage. She said, massage? I said, you're not the massage therapist? She goes, no, we're fans, we wanna take a picture. I was laying there half naked on the bed and they're probably looking at me like I'm the biggest freak ever. The European tour I just did was amazing. First of all, I didn't think that they spoke English over there. They get it. They get all of it. Especially, for example, in Norway, as a, as a child, they start learning English because all the shows are American programs and they're subtitled in their language, but it's spoken in English, whereas in other countries, they dub it. So without even trying, they're learning the language. It's like they've never seen, you know, a comedian go over there and, and do shows like that. So it was just, like, it was rock star status. It really was. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, this is a, a mock-up of me uh, 60 pounds ago. Uh, been working out and growing facial hair. This thing right here, he, he talks and it's, it's cool. We started selling these about a week ago and they're flying. I have an action figure coming out, moves and stuff around. I, I modeled it after the WWE wrestlers, the, the actual size and scale. It's the laziest action figure you've ever seen. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> I've been into wrestling since I was a kid. Uh, I always wanted to do two things in life. It was either stand-up or wrestling. I was gonna be one of the two. And uh, fortunately, I chose the less painful one. People could tell me whatever. My girl says, you know that's not real. I said, oh yeah, law and order is. So, you know, you, know, you watch your thing, I'll watch my thing. Yeah, Stand Up Revolution is going amazing. It was an opportunity for me to produce my own show and put uh, people who I thought should be on TV that haven't had an opportunity. And so uh, it's been really great to put you know new faces on television, guys that probably wouldn't have had a chance. I, I got my foot in the door and helped them sneak in. I, I call myself the Coyote of Comedy. <laughs> I think the best way for me to keep my sanity is by keeping people around me that aren't yes people. So they're just like, whatever you say, whatever you say. Whereas with me, I can't, I'm surrounded by a ton of no people. People are like, what the hell are you thinking? What are you doing? You're not supposed to do that. My accountant is one of them. For me, I want to be remembered as the guy that was just cool, easygoing, friendly, you know, fun to work with and stuff like that. Hey, this is Gabriel Iglesias and you've been watching Caracol TV, Televisión del